Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Friday, April 3rd, 2020. It is 5.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is just a quick check-in on the coronavirus and my mental illness, schizophrenia, and some of the news that I've been hearing. Um, I'm doing okay. Uh, today is the third. I got my Social Security disability check today. I paid all my bills. Um, after uh, I get about twelve hundred dollars and twelve hundred twenty seven dollars every month, um, the money I have left over is about four hundred and forty five plus another hundred and fifty that I have saved up. So I'm doing okay um, monetarily. Um, still taking my medications like I'm supposed to. Um, went out for a walk this morning. New York State has a stay at home order. Um, but you're allowed to go out if you're exercising in a solitary way where you're not, you know, with crowds of people, of 10 or more people, and you keep your distance from people while you're exercising. You're supposed to gather in large crowds, like in the parks and stuff like that. Um, so the lockdown continues and people continue to be isolated. I know I'm isolated. I have panic attacks from that. Um. I went up and went to, for an early walk this morning to burn off some of the anxiety that I was feeling. And the anxiety isn't necessarily about my situation. Um, it's about other people. I was watching the Ben Shapiro show on uh, YouTube, and he's a conservative um, Orthodox Jewish commentator. And he was saying that he supports the lockdown orders in like, New York State, New York City, and other states throughout the United States. People should stay at home. But he's also pointed out, Ben Shapiro also pointed out, that there's got to be a long-term plan about what we're going to do and how is this fire going to play out. Is it going to die down during the summer? Is it going to come back in the fall like the flu does seasonally? Um, is there just the first wave or is there going to be a second wave? Um, there's no real plan beyond the next two months about what people are going to be doing. Uh, ben Shapiro pointed out that in the past two weeks in the United States, 6.2 million people have applied for unemployment insurance, and there may be a loss of jobs of like, 20 million people or more out of work because of the stay-at-home order. Restaurants, bars, other small businesses, uh, motels, hotels are suffering. People are losing their jobs and staying at home, and they need paychecks because this is the beginning of the month. And this is when their bills are coming due. Like I said, I paid all my bills today. Other people don't necessarily have that luxury because they're out of work. And so when I feel anxiety and nervousness, it's not for myself. I'm fine. I'm secure as far as I can tell right now. Um, and if you're wondering, I cut myself shaving. I'm not sure where this cut on my forehead came from. I just noticed that when I was looking into the camera. But this is, uh, I cut myself shaving. I was in a rush. But anyways, um, millions of jobs are being lost in the United States and other parts of the world. Um, and Ben Shapiro pointed out that this is not sustainable. People are not going to voluntarily stay indoors for more than a month and a half, maybe two months at the outset. Sooner or later, there's got to be a plan about what to do if this virus dies down but comes back later. We have to have more hospital capacity to handle a rise in numbers of cases. We have to have more ventilators, more uh, emergency beds, more intensive care beds, more ventilators, more masks, more gowns, more rubber gloves for the healthcare workers, doctors, nurses. There's got to be a setup where the hospitals can handle a second wave of um, people getting the coronavirus. Um, there has to be some sort of plan that nobody's really talking about. Ben Shapiro pointed out that the scientists and the government, state, federal governments, they're just talking about stay at home, stay at home. But we don't know what's going to happen after two months. And we don't know what we're going to do about all the people who are losing their jobs. And just stay home and we don't have any answers beyond that. Um, and Ben Shapiro is right. That's not sustainable. People are going to need to get back to their jobs starting at the very least within the next two months. You cannot take millions of people, lock them away, and have them do that voluntarily. 
things are going to get ugly and there's going to be pub public unrest and riots like there is in southern Italy. If you shelter people away by themselves for indefinite periods of time, that's not normal for a person's mental health. I can tell you as a person with schizophrenia, that's not good for somebody's mental health. And somebody's going to have to come up with a plan about how people will get back to work and still follow certain standards that will keep the virus from spreading too fast. Um, so people can get back to work, start paying their bills, because Ben Shapiro pointed out that if people lose their jobs, then you're talking about people unable to take care of their children. People have to go to food banks for food because they have no income coming in. And the government has fucked up the small business loans again. They told the banks to do same-day loans, and the banks say they can't do that. They don't have any guarantees that the money will be paid back by either the people who get the money for their business or by the federal government. So banks are not loaning money under the new government programs that were passed last week by Congress. So there's a big fuck-up in um, trying to get money to businesses who are closed because of this epidemic, especially small businesses. And banks are not lending like they're supposed to. Um, the legislation that Congress passed um, is supposed to allow business owners who retain their employees to go to a bank, take out a loan the same day that they apply for that loan, and get their business up and running again. But that's not what's happening. The banks are refusing to give out those loans because they're not guaranteed, or they don't know who they're guaranteed by. If the loans get forgiven, then they can be, they can become grants, then that leaves the bank that lent out the money without the money. No one's paying it back. And what the banks want is an assurance from the government that those loans will be paid off by somebody. Um, if not the business owner, then the government's going to have to pay it back. Um, so Ben Shapiro is pointing out that it's unsustainable to have millions and millions of people locked away by themselves without a job, no ability to handle their children, take care of their children, get their children to school, homeschool them, not enough food, not enough for rent, not enough for mortgages, not enough for businesses, not enough for jobs. It's not sustainable to expect people to stay indoors for three, four, or five, six months. That's not going to happen. People are just going to start going out against the order to stay in after a while, and it's just going to become unbearable. People are going to have to get back to work, and there's got to be a long-term plan to do that without spreading the virus, or at the very least expect the virus to spread and have hospital capacity with ventilators and tens of care beds and proper clothing and proper number of hospital beds to handle increase in coronavirus cases if people go back to work. There is a way, Ben Shapiro said, to both get people back to work and be ready for an influx of a higher number of corona case viruses, coronavirus cases by having hospitals be prepared for larger numbers of people coming into the hospital after restrictions are lifted on the quarantines and the stay-at-home stay at home orders. Um, so I feel depressed and nervous and anxious for people I don't even know. And if you don't feel that, then you're not human. Um, you've got to care about what happens to other people other than yourself. I'm fine. I have my medications. I have my social security check. I paid all my bills. I have food. I have the internet. My power is still on. Food is still in the supermarkets. Supply chains are still going. There are a lot of good people out there working their asses off. That includes, of course, the doctors and nurses and other healthcare professionals, but it also includes the people in hospitals who clean hospital beds, who are basically janitors and cleaners in hospitals um, around infected people. But it also includes people who work in supermarkets, places like Amazon that have huge warehouses where people are ordering from some of the essentials of life instead of going out to stores and buying it. Um, grocery stores, their workers, everybody involved in just keeping food supplies going and doing their jobs, keeping supermarkets open, keeping pharmacies open, those people are heroes as well. And there are people who are working 
um, in what's considered essential businesses, including supermarkets, laundromats, banks. Um, although my bank is closed, they decided to close the lobby of the bank. And the only way you can uh, meet with somebody at the bank is key bank is to set up an appointment with somebody or go to an ATM or if you must go to a drive through teller window. I don't have a car. I would have to walk up to that window, um, but whatever. Um, but I don't see um, myself as uh, needing to go to the bank. I have an ATM card and I think I'll be fine for now. Um, yeah, I feel nervous and anxious for anybody in the United States or outside of the United States, in European Union, China, Russia, South America, Canada, Mexico, I feel for anybody who's lost their job, possibly permanently, that's going to cause an increase in suicide, alcoholism, domestic violence. It's just got a whole, you can't just talk about saving people's lives. You have to talk about the economic things, as Ben Shapiro pointed out, because people's livelihoods are either at stake or on their way to being gone permanently. And like Ben Shapiro, ben Shapiro points out, that's going to cause mental health problems, suicides, drugs, violence, crime, rioting, and so on. So the governments of the world have to have a plan over the next few weeks to get people back to work, but still be able to practice social distancing, wearing masks when they're outside, and other possible measures. Because what we're doing right now may be right for right now, but it's not, it's not sustainable in the long run. So I'm fine. Um, everybody comment, like, subscribe, share, and press that notification bell so you'll see my new videos when they come out. Because even if you sub subscribe to me, you may not be notified when I make a new video. So if you're going to subscribe, that's fine. And also press the uh, notification bell uh, at the bottom of the screen. So that's all for now.